out, yeah, follow alert. Little bit of bitch, I don't call it alert. Uh, yeah, follow alert. Go get the file when I'm calling a murk. Uh, yeah, pop it come first. I want the baby, the baby gon' burst. Uh, yeah, I bought a clan. I bought a clan, then one of my perks. What's going on, everyone? It's your boy 3MG. We are back with another video. And if you are new to the channel, I would appreciate you hitting the like button. If you have not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that whenever I go live or whenever I upload a video, you will be alerted. So, let's talk about this NBA 2K19. So yesterday, the controls and advanced controls were revealed. And in my opinion, after going over some of the images and just looking at it and analyzing it, and then going back to 2K18, it's very similar with, I guess, a little bit more enhancements or extra features. But I'll be honest, adding more to the controls is gonna make things very complicated. And it's gonna kind of force a lot of like users who play park or whatnot to just stick with some basic control schemes as as long as they're able to still be like dribble gods. You know what I'm saying? Like as long as they're able to really just cross people over, because that's the majority of these park dudes, they'll just stick with that. You know, they added certain things in the game. It's not too complicated, but you know, it can get a little bit frustrating when you're trying to learn all these extra moves. Now I'm gonna show you guys on screen the basic offense, defense, advance, and all that other stuff. But let's really just talk about what's happening with 2K19 and 18. Mike Wayne announced yesterday that they added this hesitation feature, which pretty much allows you to stop your dribble animation move, whether if it's before, midway, or just towards the end. Because if you guys remember, a lot of the times when we pick certain animations or dribble animations in 2K18, whether we was in the park or pro AM or any other mode, sometimes there was a delay or whether or not you would do an animation, it would continue to do the full animation. And if you are playing with someone who's a dribble god or whatnot, and that's your player build, you would want to pretty much just be able to just move with their hands as fast as possible and not be forced to just complete a full animation. Therefore, now if you press L1 or LB or whatever, you would be able to just stop midway and it pretty much hesitates your whole dribble animation. Honestly, I think that's pretty cool because a lot of the times that kind of forced me to loose ball it or bump steals and all that other stuff. So if I am in a tight position, if there's like two people guarding me or if I'm just going up against somebody who's probably seeing all, you know, who's reading my animations because it's very predictable in 2K18 where you're in the park, I can read everyone's animation. Everybody just moves left or right and they start doing the same dribble moves left or right and the same dribble moves and it pretty much was the same outcome or you know fallout to when you went to the basket so it was the same shit overall after taking a look at the images here there's really not that much different from 2k18 with the minor set tweaks here and there i just feel like 2k went in worked on the games mechanics physics animations responsiveness with the ai and your regular player whether if it's dribble animations or on defense and whatnot but in my opinion personally they need to work on them servers they need to make sure that the reward system is trash because what stopped me from playing this game was how shitty the grind was how fucked up the animations were and on park the servers was do do but yes i think this game is going to be a little bit better than 2k18 in my opinion but also i read somewhere that they were implementing some sort of street ball kind of thing for park if i'm not mistaken if that's true i feel like they should have separated the dribbling if you know for the most part the dribbling control scheme and allow you to change the regular dribbling control scheme to maybe like a park style you know so that people can have fun because even though there's so much depth with like their controls and whatnot park players are very basic with what they do on the court so you should have had like maybe a control scheme for park players for their dribbling animations and whatnot and the way they play to kind of separate that you know what i mean because you know everybody wants to be a dribble guy or if you're a big man the way you play in the court everybody wants to play different part compared to like playing the my career pro-am so i feel like they should have possibly or maybe have you know added something new for that area or in that area but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hit the like subscribe button notification bell and i'll get back to you with a new one peace Thank you.